Well, hello, this is Gringo in the Kitchen, and today we're going to do a Mediterranean meatloaf. We start with, we start with uh, two pounds of ground beef. That's uh, 92% uh, to, compared to the 80%, you get a lot less fat. So I've got uh, some pretty lean uh, ground beef here. And then with the ground beef, I'm going to go through some of the ingredients we have here. I'm going to, be going to be putting in some cilantro. That's like two tablespoons of fresh cilantro. We got two cloves here of garlic. We got uh, two teaspoons of paprika. And then we've got uh, two teaspoons of uh, ground cumin. And then this other one is cork de coriander. There's one teaspoon of that. And then I got cinnamon. We got one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then with that, I'm going to be adding a few other spices. We got some natural seasons, which got a lot of uh, powdered garlic and such in there. I'll be using that. And then I also got some pepper. Now, with this meatloaf, we're going to be uh, making a salad. So the salad is, gonna, is going to be, um, this is the green kale. I'll make a salad with that and be adding a couple little things to that. Um, with the meat, I also got some balsamic vinegar. And then um, we got parsley flakes. I'll be using them a little bit later for some of the sauce I'm going to be making. All right. And then to finalize, we're going to have couscous. I don't know if anybody's, it's a Moroccan um, dish. And uh, couscous, we'll be making some of that and be putting these meals. I'm going to be doing some meals for about four or five days. Got some onion here, some chopped onion. I'll be adding to the meat. And then in the end for the uh, sauce that I'm going to be making for the meat, going to be using Greek yogurt. Let's get started. Okay, let's begin spicing the meat. And I, I want to remind you that this here is a meal that's for a weight loss and uh, maintain your weight. I believe it's about a 376 calories per serving. So um, with that, you know, you're going to be able to maintain or, or lose weight quite easily. Okay, let's go ahead and add some of our, uh, some of our stuff here. We've got, I'm going to put about two tablespoons of chopped onions in here. I'm going to mix it up. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to get in there with my hands. I just want to get a few of the things added. Okay. All right. I'm going to just go put some of the spices in too. This has got salt, pepper, um, a little bit of garlic. Mix it in. There's two pounds of meat here, so you've got to make sure you get it mixed through the whole thing. And then let's start putting some of the dry stuff. Well, actually, I'm going to put the balsamic vinegar. Let's get that out of the way. In all my meats, I always put a little bit of balsamic. Okay. Now, I'm going to put in the paprika. I might have to bring it out a little bit. A little paprika here. And uh, uh, cumin. And then this is a coriander. And the cinnamon. Okay, let's mix those in. Okay. And now we've got the uh, the garlic, two cloves, maybe even you could even put three if you want to, but we'll go for two today. Okay, all right, I'm gonna finish up here. Got a couple more things, but we got this cilantro here. Freshly cut cilantro, it adds a little bit of color to it. Cilantro is almost good with any type of meat dish you do. Gonna, now we got raisins. It's the first time I've ever used raisins in a meatloaf, it's pretty good. And it's about two tablespoons of raisins. Depends on how much you like raisins. And we got one more thing here. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of, of, of cracked, uh, or is it three tablespoons of cracked pistachios? Okay. And you want to probably get the unsalted pistachios. 
keep the that way you can control the salt all right now let's get our hands in here and mix this up a little bit make sure you wash your hands and you take your jewelry off before you do this okay you've got to get it good and mixed here with your hand you can usually get this done real well One more thing I'm going to add to this. I think it's going to need a little bit of pepper. Just what you just grind a little bit on top of it. Okay. And then you mix that in again. Okay. Now we're going to get it ready to bake. And so we'll put it in a pan. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. It's now it's time to get the uh, meatloaf into the pan. I use parchment paper here and that's um, so it makes it a lot easier when it's done to just pull it out and put it on a plate and it doesn't stick to the pan. Parchment paper is not um, wax paper. Do not use wax paper. The parchment paper is made specifically for baking and, it, and nothing, it won't burn or it won't start on fire or anything like that. So let's go ahead and start forming it into the pan. Make sure you push it down to all sides. A little bit more here. Okay, you can see the pistachios, the raisins, and everything like that. There'd be a lot of moisture. Okay, we just want to flatten it down, and then we're going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Now we're working on the uh, the salad. This kale here, you're just going to have to cut it up in smaller pieces. So just take and rock your knife back and forth so you can get it broken down into smaller pieces. And see. And some of the stocks you want to get out of there. You don't need those big stocks. There we go. And you can see here that I've already done, done some already. So this is going to be enough for like four or five meals. So I want to make sure that I, I have enough. Okay, now it's time to do the couscous and uh, get a cup and a quarter of water. While it's still a little bit chilly, you pour in your spice. This is actually pretty quick. This is, uh, you can see here, it's the uh, quick, quick type. If you want to put in a little bit of, uh, of coconut oil, just, a, just about a half a tablespoon. All right. And we just let that, what's going to happen is we're going to let that... Uh, get up to a boil and then at a boil you shut off the heat and then you pour in your couscous and then it'll be ready. Okay now that the uh, water is boiling with the spices the couscous is going to be put in. You see that right there and then we just mix it up just a little bit. You take it off the heat and then it's going to absorb all that water and in just a few minutes you'll be able to see. All right. While we're waiting for the uh, meatloaf to get done and the couscous going to make the sauce that we're going to be using on our meat. It's going to start with a half a cup of Greek yogurt. And that's a plain yogurt. Going to put a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, lemon. Okay. Mix it in. Adding just a, a little bit of parsley. There we go. Get a little bit of color in there. Mix it up and we'll see if we can get a little bit more in there. Needs a little bit more. There we go. There. All right. And then to finalize, we're just going to put a little sprinkle of pepper. Okay, mix it up and then we'll put this in the refrigerator and wait until our meatloaf is uh, ready to go. Going to finalize the salad, the kale salad now. The couscous has been finished. You can see it's all fluffed up, it's ready to go. We put this in here first, okay? It's a little bit over a cup. I'm gonna mix it up. You mix the couscous along with the kale here, break it down a little bit, make sure it gets evenly dispersed. 
throughout the salad. All right. Now, we will put in a little bit of, this is extra virgin olive oil, three uh, tablespoons. A little bit of salt, not much. And I've got some juice here, lemon juice. Just going to put a little bit on there. About a, a tablespoon and a half. And then at the end, I've got these pistachios. All right. That was about three tablespoons of pistachios. You can add a little bit more if you like. Then just mix it all up. See how it looks? Really nice. The oil and the lemon gets in there, really looks good. And now with this parchment paper, it's going to be so easy to remove it. We just pick it up and move it right over here so where we can cut it. Okay, uh, the meat is ready to cut. Um, I put it in the refrigerator for just a little bit so it was, it, you'll be able to handle it and then cooled it down. But you want to cut it, if you can, in um, quarter inch slices, sort of like that. As you can see, it's uh, ready to go. Okay, our meatloaf is out of the oven. I've started to cut it here. You're going to cut it in about a quarter inch to a half inch pieces. And then um, the I realized once I put this in the oven that I had to turn up the temperature just a little bit higher um, and run it for a little bit longer time. So the temperature I changed to uh, right around 400 and I give the time about an hour and 10 minutes. And you want to make sure that when you check the temperature of the inside of this meat, it's 160 degrees. They got little thermometers, you can do that. So we're going to finish this up and then we were going to make our little meals here in just a minute. You can see how, how the inside looks. We got the colors that are coming out. We got the raisins. A lot of the uh, pistachio are coming through now. It looks really good. All right, just a couple more pieces here and then we will be able to put our meals together. Okay, now we're just going to finalize here with the uh, sauce that we made with the uh, yogurt. Just put a little bit on each one. Oop. There we go. Okay, with uh, Gringo in the kitchen, we've got our meal of the week, our healthy meal of the week with our meatloaf and uh, Mediterranean meatloaf. And we put a little sauce on that. We got our, uh, our vegetable, which is our, uh, which is our salad with some couscous in it. All right, these are going to be my meals for the week. And uh, my word for the week is uh, raisins, as in English, and in Portuguese is pasa. Pasa. Pasta de uva is actually what they would say, which means dried grape. Okay? And so on behalf of myself, Gringo in the Kitchen and Zenobia Beckley, please subscribe, share, and like on the channel. And uh, you can also just click on that bell twice. to let you know that we have different videos coming out. And we really like to get at least two videos out per week. Right now we are doing cooking videos because it's very hard to get outside of the house because of the coronavirus. So thank you so much. We'll be seeing you again next week.